What's up, YouTube? We're back here for some more sealed action. Let's check out what we got. I feel like I get Alistrina in every single pool. We got two of them. Oh my god, this card is terrible. Satoshi is terrible. Locusta Expert, not great. Dahlia, the Golden Golem is terrible. Can't attack unless you cast a spell. All right, so so far our legendaries look terrible. Dahlia is Echo. After a friendly creature is healed, summon a 1-4 Injured Sprout. So you have to heal stuff in order to make this work. Hmm. Nature Overgrown, Cadence, Evner, these are all very bad. I do think Locusta Expert is probably playable. It's a removal spell rolled into a 2-4 body. Probably don't really ever use this on your own creatures. If you have a shot for a lethal, you'll know when to use it on your own creature. Otherwise, you're probably just giving your opponent minus 3 health on something. And it has Deadly, so it's a Deadly 2-4. Yeah. Um... All right. Oh, and we, and there, wait, there's more. Uh, Magic Un Unburdened has underperformed for me. Uh, I, I used to think this was a little bit better, but mm, eight mana is quite a lot. Avatar of Magic probably terrible in this mode. All right, off to a good start. All right, we have Makeshift Shiv and Staff of Roots. Turning it all around here, we've got the Stamp of Shards as well. I actually don't hate playing all three, except that this one's bugged and it scares me to play it. Hunting Trap is great. Removal. All right, so we got we got a bunch of good stuff here. So let's actually sort this by mana cost here. Ah, uh, we're not playing O Fortuna, probably. Double Winter's Bounty. We got the Hunt. Asterisk Implosion, Opalized Roots is nice for value. Uh, I could see us playing Winter's Bounty potentially if we're trying to play a little bit slower. Swelling Boon is like a bit of a meme, but if we have a creature that this can stick on, it can actually be very serious in this mode. Axe Accession is fine. Theme, not so great. Not in love with either of those. Uh, wow, that's it? Okay. I mean, we have like some really good ones, like Hunting Trap, but then we just have almost nothing else. Uh, Alright. I don't know about the Winter's Bounty, to be honest. It's just very slow. Let's see what we got for creatures. We also have this as a board wipe. Pyre Shaper is very nice. Empower four, deal two damage to each other creature. I think Raving Fan is great in this mode. Uh, it's just a zero two for one, but if you drop it on turn two with a pip, for instance, it's just a two two for one mana, and you get the GP, and it just grows forever, right? So I assume we're playing either Thievery or potentially the Nature God Power solely because of the Staff of Roots, which will. Uh, give us a 1-1 one, one walking plant if we control a wild creature. So it would be nice to control a wild creature. Get that free 4 heal. Uh, let's see what else we have in wild terms. Literally no good wild cards except this one. Well, this one's actually great, by the way. But I meant nothing good for Hevner. So I don't know that we actually will play. Ugh. I think Staff of Roots is going to strictly be... No heal. Okay. Um, what else we got? Bark Sworn is decent. I don't hate it, even though it has one health. It spits out a second creature, which is always nice to have. Love the Dart Maniac, and we have two of them. Okay. That might change my opinion on things like Vinebound. We seem to have a lot of good early game like the relics plus the dart maniacs um although at the same time it seems like we don't have much in the mid game perhaps let's see what we have for creatures though almost no creatures all right we'll take the hidden creature a 2-4 with regen is interesting in this mode at least Deadly. 
Afterlife summon two one ones. Creatures damaged by this creature get burned plus three. All right, we love the Warrior of Paradise. We actually saw us open this as one of our rewards for playing sealed mode. Got myself a diamond warrior. Very nice. Definitely the best thing I've drawn so far for my rewards. Uh, Echo give backline to a friendly creature. I, don't... I think this 4-4 four, four is worth playing as well. It does give you a lot of bodies, but it's a format of 2-3 at first, so it's not very good. I guess technically this is more value than Pyromancy. It's got Echo. It's just they're both basically just four fours. This does have the burn plus three. This gives you a second one mana one one, which also gives another creature backline. So actually, I guess all right. So I guess the the benefit the play of the Stoic Shield Word is at five mana you play it, then you play the Echo and give the four four backline. So basically, it's just a four four with backline or four, which is actually good with the one mana. Front, basically, the one mana becomes the front line. One mana one one protects this. You get what I'm saying. All right. Um, if you want to know why I'm in the dark, because I've had a migraine for the last five days and I still have one. Um, but we're pushing through because I miss playing sealed mode. So here we are. If I make bad plays, uh, it's probably just normal. <laughs> but it also might be because my brain's not working. Can attack at the end of your turn, deal five damage to the strongest creature, including your own. I don't think that's playable. I don't think this is playable. Unless we have a ton of spells, which we don't. Um, Swelling Boon. Still not sure what we could slam that Swelling Boon on. Backliner. It's very slow. Something with regen. The hidden creature would be nice. Mm, I think we could play it for the lulls, perhaps. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if we have room. I'm impressed with anything else here. All right, this Salvage Sentinel is actually really nice in this mode for sure. I'd play both in a heartbeat. Just a big body and a removal spell rolled into one, which is exactly what you want in this mode. Big stats plus a removal spell. You can't ask for more. Uh, we need five more cards. Big yikes. Oh, wow, we've got some 10 mana cards. You can't play a Lay Horde because we're not going to have tons of cards in our hand. Uh, well, if we play Thievery, which I think we are against most gods, we have been getting very large hands. I guess with Thievery, this kind of works. We'll see. Avatar, no. I think we do play the Vinebound. It's again just massive stats removal. Okay. This does summon two frontline deadlies, which helps us get to the vine bound. So I don't hate this, even though I don't really love this at all. It's just two one fours for seven mana, which is pretty bad. But if they just have like one creature on board and it's big, those have deadly and frontline, so decent. Um Lay Wraith is actually decent. Target two creatures, deal one damage to enemy creatures, give plus one, plus one to friendly. One more card. Um, our early game curve does look a little bit sketchy, but we have a lot of really strong early game cards. Man, the double Dar Maniac is so good. Thirtieth card, always the hardest one to find. Hekka's Enchantress isn't terrible. It's four C two. It's something I'd love to drop on turn one, like every game. Well, I'd rather have a makeshift shift, but um. Do we really want to play that, though? Not really. Because if you don't play it on turn one, it's just trash. Uh, 
uh, trap door. Ambush is terrible. Beam, maybe? Dolly has a 4 mana 3 5. Whatever friendly creature is healed, we have one creature with regen. Yeah, I just don't think we could play that. Hmm. Alright, I think we're good. Let's do it. I do not like to play Thievery against Deception. I think it is trash. Love the makeshift Shiv. Don't think we need both the Staff and the Shiv. Kind of like the Stoic guy. I'm going to get rid of the Staff. Don't need a 6 drop. We definitely don't need an 8 drop. Don't mind just playing the Shiv on turn 1. Pyre Shaper is more of a turn five kind of guy. Or gal, I can't tell. Wish you could right click and get full screen art, you know? We just clean this guy up, probably. Yeah, this is the be this is the better Hekka's Enchantress. You 4C1 less, but a 2-2 two -two is way better than a 1-2. Okay. I do worry that if he god powers here, he's just going to start outvaluing us because our hand is kind of clunked up right now. Um, okay. Like, we easily could have played Pyre Shaper here, but I just don't think it's worth it because we don't have anything to follow it up with, really. Hmm. It's fine. Double Stoic next turn, Swelling Boon the turn after, perhaps, on the backliner, and we'll see if... We'll ask him the question, do you have any removal? Let me burn one. You can give this backline as well, actually. Effectively just giving the 1-1 one, one front line. We wait till turn 6 to play the Swelling Boon. We can actually then hide it. And then just solo him with it. Are you going to protect this? Hmm. I don't like that move at all, because I can just pop and kill it if I wanted to, but I don't even want to. I'm actually going to get really aggressive. That is not possible. I will at least pop this guy's protected. The goal here, though, is really just Swelling Boon and then hide this. Or whatever target we can get this on, if not this. Hopefully we find another biggish body soon. Might just throw the Pyre Shaper out. Sleeping it's fine, because it means he's not killing it. And we can't swing it the next turn. We're not going to swell it next turn. Protect it is great. Ooh, he got his own makeshift shiv. Rude. What's he do with this? Ruins my plans is what he does. Alright. Pack succession just by itself might be possible here. 
Might foresee. Do want to get that protected guy out. Let's foresee and see what we get. Yeah, we're looking for like a hidden body. There you go. This is going to be... That's the answer right there. Next turn. Bring it. Next turn, we're going to Swelling Boon this guy. We don't even actually have to cheat it either. Actually, we could have... Yeah, no, this was good. I... Considering saving the makeshift Shiv hits, but I think we just start smacking in the face. He does have magic. I wouldn't mind the first Swelling Boon split to go mostly towards health. We can just leave this hidden for a few turns. Curious if he'll eat four damage here. Love it. We can trade this into here. No problem. Okay, that gives me flank. I could actually hit him in the face if I wanted to. Don't really want to. I do think I'm going to play Pyre Shaper, though. Give myself an option to trade this out. 5-6 with Hidden. Not bad. It's going to gain 5 stats every single turn. This card's terrifying. That's so hard to kill, too. You can't even use, like, Hunting Trap. After you play a creature from another domain, give it plus one, plus one. And pretty much everything that he plays is going to get plus one, plus one. As long as it's not a deception creature. Something's going to even have plus two, plus one. Um... Oh, this used to have Twin Strike. Let's summon a 1-1 one, one if you control a wild. The Hunt. Actually, one, one health off a perfect Hunt here. He does have death, which is scary if he's got like Apocalypse now next turn, if we never swing with this. So I will get somewhat aggressive here. Seven with hidden. Yeah, so swelling boon plus hidden creatures. Not bad. Ooh, a frontliner. Okay, so now you can't cheat this and go face and then cheat this. This attacks the strongest. Just need to do five and then we can hit. Warrior also does three, four, four, five. Hunt again is very close, but not perfect. We have Hunting Trap. Yeah, I think we just Hunting Trap here. This gives Protected to an Anubian. Okay. Hunting Trap, smack this guy. We eat five damage. That's fine. Okay. 
Okay. 11, 8. It's crazy. GG's. Wow. Game number two. Love thievery against light. Love going first. He's playing light nature death. Don't need this. Love that. I'm gonna get rid of hunting trap looking for a threat here. Dark Maniac would be cool too. My turn already. All right. Let's keep the contest dignified, shall we? He passes. It's not terrible at all. Either GP or light foot. I think we light foot against this. We definitely light foot against that. Now though, holy smokes, that's a big turn. Wow. Okay. We're gonna eat nine damage here. Go for it. So this doesn't really become super relevant till seven mana. Luckily he has a slow turn too, and he can't kill this. So we can take out something, but we already ate nine damage in two turns. Yikes. Interesting. The weakest goes by rank. So it will ping this. I that is not possible. am a glutton for punishment. I'm going to trade here. Do that. Do this. Now we've taken obscene amounts of damage by his before his third turn. Taking 12 damage. Tiny bit concerned about the light cards that can give this like plus one plus one or something. He's got a couple little buffs. He's got some type of other buff that can get this to three. And kill my dart maniac will be very sad about the line we took. But all in all, giving up 12 damage to have this board seems decent. That's beautiful against my relic. It's plural. Getting a 2 2 is annoying. You do with his 1 1 goes face. Hastrick Implosion would be so nice right now. Alright, so this is going to kill a 1 1. Alright. I really need to kill the 2 2, I think. Let's see what we get here. I don't. Eh, maybe the 4 4 is decent enough. Don't want him healing this one. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think that was the only way to protect the Dart Maniac. And we still developed our board. This card is busted in this mode. It's so good. We have a second one, too. Like, if you had two of these on board, 
every single turn do two damage to the, your opponent's weakest creatures. That's absurd. Okay, Poison Dart used a four mana card to get rid of a four mana card. We still own the board. It's a bad draw, unfortunately, but we can God Power. Really heal it. Sure. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the uh, juice here with this relic since we have both of our other relics in hand. I also turned on the juice by playing this way early because we have no other threats. I really want to start putting in some face damage. It does slightly make my Astric Implosion worse, but I don't really know that we're playing it to clear his board since he has none. And the Dart Maniac clears anything little, as do my Relics. He just pipped into 5.5 mana, which is... Something you never want to do. Big oops. Um. We could sack both of these, turn it into a 1-1, one, one, so we only eat one damage. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice threat. We could also pip a Lay Wraith. Deal one damage, give plus one plus one. We could turn my Dart Maniac into a legit nightmare. But I actually just like the overgrown line, saving the pip. We're not putting that much face damage on him, to be honest. Tempted to just eat two more damage. And pass. Dart Maniac will clean up the rest. We save a body for one damage or whatever. Now we save our pips. Now Lay Wraith can come out, target two creatures. I don't know if they have to be two distinct creatures or if you can hit the same one twice. Some cards in this game, you can hit the same one twice. Some you cannot, like Censure. Then there's that three mana war spell, or four mana war spell rather. Two random enemy creatures go to sleep. Like. So he hits these two. It's the good one. So I guess here comes the question of, can we hit the same creature twice? I wouldn't mind getting a relic equipped. BP seems a little risky and slow here compared to just getting the Lay Wraith out though. Ooh, cannot hit the same target twice. Interesting. Yeah, all right. Spread the love around here. I don't want to put it all on this guy in case he just has some single target removal, like another poison dart or whatever. Make this a 6-6, six, six, then it just dies, plus it's confused, and confused might not go where I want it to go. This only does one damage to it, a single creature, so I wouldn't have done very much to this. Um, we only need to do seven damage to this. And then the Dart Maniac would clean up the rest. So 
Those four. Tempting to just trade the Lay Wraith here. I think we do. Otherwise, our Confused Creature might not go where we want. Mm. Get rid of the Dart Maniac? I don't think so. He's put in way too much work. MVP. Next turn, we're at seven. This is not good right now. Like, we just want big threats. Well, we're threatening lethal. Not anymore. Um. Okay, so when we kill this, what does it do? Give protected to your guy afterlife. Give protected to each friendly creature. Oh wow, we got the hunt. Oh, if this had god blitz. No. Um. Hmm. Kind of want to hunt here. So we turn this to a 5-1. It just makes it easier to wipe next turn. I think having that 5 health is important. Like if he has the hunt himself. Oops, he's got protected. Now we're just like severely threatening lethal. Even if he wipes my board. We just need to do 7. This does 6. And then Staff of Shards can do 1. This can do 2. It'll take two turns, but he needs to either heal and wipe my board, or he's dead. GG's. Game three. Against Deception, we're going to take Distraction again. Don't need the Opalized Roots. We'll play Hekka going first. Love the Dart Maniac. Lightfoot is... I'm going to get rid of it because we have a nice curve here. I'm going to get rid of this because we're not playing Thievery. My turn already. Wow. Alright, we're about to witness the double Dart Maniac see what we've got coming up. Definitely can't keep Vinebound. Lay Wraith? Can't keep that either because we have two twos and then one six. So I mean if we draw a six, sitting on some pretty dead turns for a while. Especially without Thievery, but I just don't think Thievery gives that much value. Like he pipped into it. Cool, good luck with your breaking the chains or whatever that card is called. bunch of stuff that gives order or removes order or does literally nothing. There's a couple good cards to pickpocket. That's not going to do what you... I don't think that does what you think it does. Uh, if we do this... Or, no, we, well, oh my god, well, yeah, double, right? So we can double. I wanted to get this out, but maybe we just double dart. My question is just, how will this resolve? Because I think what we're going to do is eat one da or three damage here. Sorry. And now this gives him a 1-1 one, one afterlife. So this should do one, then the afterlife should resolve, and then one. But let's just hope that that is correct. Wow, did it really do that? That doesn't even make any sense. So this Dart Maniac kills one thing. And then before this even resolves, they're like, nope, the next Dart Maniac wants to go do the next... Like, that doesn't make any sense. Come on. Come on, man. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. This game needs a stack. Um, all right. And if this creature survives damage, deal the same amount of damage to your opponent's god. So we could just cheat this thing every single turn forever. Except for this turn, I suppose. Um, I hate that he hurt both of my dart maniacs. 
They're both wounded and sad now. Kind of want to play this, but it just doesn't do very much right now. Eh, neither does the Dart Maniac. We'll leave, at the very least, if you play the Dart Maniac when he has something on board, it's going to do at least one extra damage. So it's not just a two mana one one. It does nothing if he just kills it. He just shuffled three copies of Hekka into my deck. This is the worst card in my deck. But that's such a slow, bad turn for him. Okay. Or at least a waste of one mana. That just dies to my double Ds. Can you save that? I don't... Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then this is decent because we can... Go face, 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 face. Cheat this. Does an extra damage. Reheals itself and is hidden. Meanwhile, this time the double Ds did their job. I guess they're double DMs, really, right? We'll call them double DMs. It sounds more appropriate. Meanwhile, he's just smashing this god power, which gives no value against... I mean, Stolen Plants is a great card, don't get me wrong. But he's now used three mana to delve a random card from Deception. Which could be a great card. But he spent three mana for something that normally costs one. Meanwhile, he's getting murdered. Lightfoot Informant. Now, this card is actually scary because if you don't kill it... In this mode, this is actually an interesting card. It can just spiral out of control. Ironically, though, I think he forgot about the double Ds. You can't, you can't forget about the double Ds. We should play this first. Can we get a card? Orange Sweep, dead card. For me, it's a great card if he draws it for him. Actually, quite ruin my That's day. Well, this would live, right? So. Okay. Yeah, these these guys are just. Wow. Ooh, what is this? This summons a card from my hand. Wow, that was actually phenomenal for him. I didn't get the roar. Okay. Um, but we can just Hunting Trap, and then it's probably close to lethal. I don't really want a Hunting Trap. He drops a bigger front line. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have a hidden that can literally have lethal by itself because it'll do three. I think that's fine. Even if he carnage swept and everything died, we'd still have lethal. Because this does three. A turn. Wow. Yeah, I felt like this deck had strong early game. But then, like, the middle game feels a little bit sketchy. That's why I included the Vine Bound. But so far, we've been... Like, if you draw both of these guys early... Oh, my God. That is... That is rude. GG's, my dude. Ooh, this can attack something. He killed the he killed one of the the double D bros. No. I will avenge you. I'll let the the double dealer do do, do the final. I can't speak. GG's. <laughs> right, game number 4. Again against deception. Everyone's taking deception. They all saw my video of me taking thievery every time. And now I'm changing it up. 
changing up the game. Fur trees, fury. Might be keepable here. <clears throat> hmm. I don't love this at all. Here to get a vine bound if I replace the four four. Dart maniac. Oh, okay. Good luck. Ooh, should have kept the four four. Not happy with this hand. Please pass turn one, or we will die. Thank you. Oh wow, and then we wow. I will take it. I was gonna pip out this. It's a one two. This is a 2-1 against the ping god power that he should have taken, probably, in my opinion. Oh, this is even worse, but now against this god power, this on turn one is awesome. Does two damage, trades with whatever, except for this thing, which is pretty freaking insane and terrifying, and I'm actually scared. This creature heals for the damage it deals. Okay, I thought it just always healed for damage it takes. Okay, that's not as scary. We do have to attack into it, otherwise it hurts me. So I think we have to actually trade and then ping, otherwise he just kills my 1-1. One, one. I've never seen this card played in this mode, and I haven't seen it in constructed mode in a long, long time. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Long, long time. Well, I guess that's our only option. I mean, this does one as well, but... This used to give burn. Does it not give burn? No, it doesn't. Change this one up on me. Oh, because it deals one... Oh my god, I didn't realize I was going to do that. I thought it, like, meant when it attacks. Jesus. How the frick am I supposed to kill this? Okay. Don't worry, on turn six we can finally get it. Oh, my brain hurts too much to figure out how this card works. That's pretty insane. In this mode, this card's even better than the Dart Maniac. I genuinely don't know how we're supposed to kill this. Uh, until Fur Tree, so next turn, but then, I mean, it might not kill it. This actually is Dece. The runes could give me something that deal with it, but I can't play it this turn. This is now going to just probably die. Let's play the hidden guy. Yeah, let's play the hidden guy. <clears throat> we might need it next turn to clean up after the fir tree. So this is the weakest. Weakest goes by strength. This is the lowest strength. That's good. This needs to die. This swinging here doesn't kill it, so I think he might just go face face. And then if he plays like a 3 3 himself, we get to clear his board. A 4 7, holy smokes. Alright, that's still really good for Fur Tree though, because it clears up these two. That turn passed really weird. Game glitched. Um. You can hit it for four. Wait, what? Oh. Hey, this wasn't highlighted like I could swing with it. Yeah, that game definitely glitched really hard there. I can't use my pips? Oh my dear god, okay. Okay, everything's okay. Um. Yeah, I think we do take this out. And then fir tree. Because this will basically kill itself once it gets one, two swings in, because it deals two damage each time that it attacks. So he, he has one turn with it. So I'm just going to go face. Yeah. 
he swings here and then here, he can two for one. But if he just swings here, it just dies. If he goes face and then trades here, that's fine. That was a quite the start to the game. This has blitz. That's insane. Okay. Blitz and ward. This goes through ward, but um, can't play it this turn. I think we might just go sacred lore. And then hopefully we get a rune of sight, I guess. Hey. And then two rune of fires? Oh no! Wait. Hold up. I definitely did not want more than one rune of sight. Harmaniac at this point in the game? I don't know about that. Arc skin's almost better, but we're going to drop a six drop next turn. I'm just going to pass everything. Mm. Tempting. Okay. I think we're probably just dead then. He hits me for nine next turn, and technically we can then Asterisk Implosion it next turn. We do this. I guess we should have cheated at last turn. I was thinking cheating doesn't really do much because we were just going to low Custa Expert right through the ward like clever boys, and then instead we got wrecked. Let's see what we're drawing next. Uh, back line not super helpful. I'm running out of time. They're good cards normally, but they're not going to save my life right now. We ran out of time because I'm just struggling how to figure out, even if he does down to four. I just don't think we can survive. Yeah, at some point he's going to have four. Four reach with death. And deception. Has heads or tails. Runa strength times two does it. Does he not have lethal? Oh, I guess I was thinking the hunt maybe? I don't even know. Hmm. Hmm. Disaster Complosion is not going to kill us. I don't know what I was thinking. Um. Yeah, this game we just, um, died. I think we can survive. That's not going to happen. GG's. Um. I think we could have done different. We could have pinged the, the ward, but it's, yeah. If we ping the ward, we can use the hunt the following turn. Did not see the red fume serum coming. Didn't even cross my brain. Okay. On to the next. Let me live. I'll consider it. Finally play Thievery again, making our Layhorde Hatchling very happy. I just put my hands on the WASD keys as if I'm about to start running around the board. I'm trying and nothing is happening. Why can't I navigate my god around the board? Is he Did he quit? What happened? Did I bug the game up by smashing WASD? That's possible. I'll stop. Oh, I'm going first. This is great. He's playing Clear Mind, which is maybe the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. And because of that, we'll play Barksworn on turn one. Don't disappoint me. Mm. We made our Swelling Boon happy with Thievery, or our um, Layhorde Hatchling. Happy with thievery, but we made our swelling boon sad with not using cheat. That's not gonna happen. All right, this dude is just bouncing back and forth here. 
Magic Light War. Uh, just to be clear before I get lots of comments, I'm pretty sure I called this this circle um, death earlier, but it's it's deception. Please don't write me any angry letters. I'm aware of the mistake that I made. It took me like an hour to realize I made the mistake. But again, my brain is working on like 5% right now. So cut me some slack, dude. That's a great relic. I would be jealous, but I have a great relic too. That's a great card. Now I'm just jealous. Okay. Now Raving Fan sucks because he's got this awesome thing. I really wanted to play Raving Fan turn three. And it would have been nice. That's really, I mean, that's exactly what I wanted to do. But we can do this E3 damage. And just GP it. Again, we should be GPing first when we're planning on GPing. It doesn't really change much because usually you kind of know vaguely what you're going to get. Here I could have gotten like a two damage removal, so I still would have played this. Yeah, I don't know. Always draw first, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Killed the 1-1 one, one instead of the 1-2. Huge mistake. We'll come back to bite him later in the game. Probably not, but it's still a mistake. Ah, 4-4 four, four is nice. So we can either do, like, Raving Fan, GP, Shadow Scryer, or Pyromancy Mentor, which seems decent. And I think when you have two options, I mean, this just basically leaves, eh. I think it's better to play the four mana creature here because it leaves us more options in the future. But I do, I really want to get rid of his last hit of the cudgel and the raving fan demands to be hit. Just look at his stupid face. Uh, if he doesn't kill it here, then it just grows and spirals. Um, and here we can't actually GP first because you need to play this before you GP. You get a 4C creature. This one's just really strong, though. I can't do that. Such a petty existence. He has to kill the 2-2. Two, two. And now he left alive a 1-2 instead of a 1-1. One, one. Now if he plays a 1-1 one, one at any point, and we get to trade, then you'll get to see where that one little mistake came in handy. We also have some buff stuff in this deck, like Swelling Boon, for instance. One extra health could save its life. Kind of thinking about just slapping Swelling Boon on that Shadow Scryer. Kind of think definitely, right? Let's do it. Just seems too fun to not do it. That's not gonna happen. Four, three, love it. Sometimes that card seems a little buggy where it just gives all five to one side or the other. I think you may have seen that in a previous run that I did. Uh, but today so far it's been perfect split like every time which also seems buggy <laughs> no that seems perfect i was worried it was going to give it all to the health or to the strength side or even all the l side in this case um but yeah i want this to stick around so if this can spiral and get some decent health and decent strength loving it Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. How?
this guy. I don't think you have to pip Ash. No, because it does one. Yeah, so Asterisk pops my Protect. This pops the Ward, but it survives as hopefully like a 6-6, six, six, but no Protect and no Ward. God, this card's crazy. I think it's the only way this guy really gets out of here alive, right? Unless we wait a turn. No, I think you have to do it now, right? Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Give me some health. Oh, I wanted more health than strength, but okay. Please don't die. <laughs> this survives one more turn. It's basically just GG's. Or we'll have gotten so much value out of it that it's just insane. He had Worm Breath, and he took that long to use it? Come on, now. Okay. Um... For C. Hello. That's ten reach from hand. That's not gonna happen. I did just make this really expensive, but it'll be six next turn. Lay down, pup. I got a puppy on my lap. She's bumping the microphone. Come on, pup. This puppy's been on my lap the whole time, basically. She's been driving the mouse the whole time as well. Now she's not here to help me anymore. You're going to see how bad I really play. It's basically a Ratatouille situation. Instead of the mouse in the hat, though, dog on the lap. That's not going to cut it. I think we just have lethal in like two turns. Okay. Wow, actually Astric Implosion now just looks funny. Four, five, six, twelve. Yeah. Oop. Didn't kill any of my creatures. Killed all four of his creatures. Request denied. Dogatui? Now, what would Ratatui be called with a dog playing Gods Unchained? I guess Dogs Unchained. I guess I just answered the question. GG's. Game number six-ish? I think we're four and one, is that? I don't know. That's probably right. Yeah, I think that's right. Four plus one plus one. Death, magic, light. Do not need this. Yeah, it's pretty sketch to start in your opening hand. Although it does come. Well, if we didn't have Dart Maniac, then I think you can actually like 
turn one and two just straight up god power and not play anything and then turn three this just becomes a bomb uh, we're going second I think we actually just problem is we want to play dart maniac on turn two which makes Lehord worse because we're not just GPing this is tough I have three more replaces though so I'm going to go for it no, it wasn't worth it. We should have kept it. It's such a weird card. Because it gets really expensive if you actually put cards on the board. Now, uh, wish we kept it. That's a big boy. I can't just play Dart Maniac. I mean, I could, and then it trades one for one, but it's not very good. He did use his only pip. Um, problem is if he doesn't have to kill it with a 3-1... <clears throat> well, then we just die. Because we have literally nothing else to do. So the question is either Dart Maniac or God Power. And I think you have to Maniac here. God Power just feels too slow. Because if he drops like another 3 2 next turn, then what are you going to do? Drop a Dart Maniac? Does nothing. Uh oh. Slam that on. It's really helpful. That's also very nice. GP first. Shield bearer is interesting. Murder that guy's face. Um. Yeah, Shield Bear doesn't do anything to this anyway, so let's just go ahead and do this. Now next turn we're at 5, so he helped by ramping me. He helped himself as well, but now we can play Pack Succession. Um, Yeah, Pack Succession seems decent here because unless we get a first Phoenix, actually, even if we get first Phoenix, I'd take it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now we just clear board. We get cards that generates value. We can basically just pass. I would consider using this on his face, but he's at 30. We don't have any other relics right now, so I think we just keep it for the board removal. Plus, it's nice board removal because not like the other relics where you have to eat face damage. Dreaming Scepter is ability. Sorry, buddy. So basically, he has to wait a turn to play this. This is now going to have four health. Thank God for regen. Got our Lay Horde back. Afterlife, add a random nature card to hand. Also can just pump it with the Shield Bearer to really get it out of range. Although I'm worried he might have some other answer. Also, Swelling Boon is very tempting. Not going to lie, on a regen creature. Yeah, I mean, Swelling Boon has been putting in some serious freaking work right now, right? Let's go for it. Give me that big health. Okay, I would have rather it had gotten, like, all health. Keeps uh, trending towards the strength side. This is completely useless. Minus one, minus two, and he gets to kill it. See, if that had gotten one more health, we would have been okay. Bye-bye. We did generate a couple cards. This one's okay, this one's trash, but it does make our Lay Horde better as well, so not not terrible. Lay Wraith can actually kill both. Pump this into a 2-2. Two -two. This is an Amazon? Whoa. Imagine using Arcmonian Onslaught. <laughs> Just kidding. This is an Amazon too, though? Hmm. We can somehow stick both Amazons on board. We can kill one. Hmm. I'm actually tempted by this silly line because we get to GP as well. Look for a little one drop creature. We didn't get it. Okay. But my theory is he won't use... 
really don't want to waste this, though. Or this. I'll waste this, though, and maybe it'll bait him into... Uh, to killing it with this. Okay. Theory is he won't use the Dreaming Scepter on such weak targets. He doesn't want to use it on this, probably, because then it gives me a free card. Jeez, everyone has Archimedes Mirror these days. But what the heck, man? <sighs> oh, no one. Not helpful. So this turns, yeah, this turns into a, a clear of this thing. Um, because we can use this plus Shield Bearer. Pretty big waste, but... Okay. We get to put in some serious face damage first. Rip. Bertree's Fury is nice. And then clear that guy. We put in we put in a good good amount of face damage. Can't be mad about that. We got value out of Archimonian onslaught, which is absurd. That's terrifying. Mm. Okay. We want to do this in the right order. We want to lay horde first, and then pip into the first. So we get a free little dude. This guy's going to get eaten by the relic, though, but that's okay. Could even ping this, and then we get two Frosty Fruits, but it's our last hit, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this. One, step at a time. One Frosty Fruit is enough for me. The fact that he ramped us makes me happy that we did keep the vine bound in the deck. Because I could have taken it out. Live a little. Curse agreed on a 1-1. One -one. See what we get. He's he's playing this. Okay. Backline hidden. Uh yeah. Put some pressure on. I got one creature on board, so this play is decent, I think. Makes it so he can't really get to my... My 4-4. Four, four. And then hopefully, if he trades with the 1-1, we can kill it. And then if he just plays like a big 7-drop, we have Wraith Zealot. Wrath Zealot, sorry. This is a Lay Wraith. This is a Lay Wrath. Ghost Face, what's he going to do? Removal of some sort. Ritual Rod ain't it. Wrath still looks decent against two Summon Acolytes. It's not decent. I want one big, like, 7-7 seven, seven that can't do anything except die to a deadly. That's not what we want to see. This does burn up, though, so that's fine. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, Vinebound clears his board, but it also does kill and hurt mine drastically. Still worth, though, I think. I mean, you put in five face damage, clear his board, and then say, hey, what can you do against a 10 12 plus a 4 1? You can eat four more damage. Boom. 
Also, this has backline, actually, so he can't get to it. With He can't actually just swing here. That actually might by itself win the game. This effectively is a frontliner to the 4-1 only. But I was thinking he could just ping this off, but he can't with his relic. Oh, I mean, that's too... Oh, wow. Okay, I thought he was going to have to try and trade here, but all right, all right. He eats four, though. That's still not bad. Doesn't eat four. Okay. Um, Pretty strong turn for him. Um, Still got a lot of six and seven drops, though, so... Yeah, let's GP first. Censure is interesting, but I'm going to go ahead and ping these two. And then kill this one. Okay. Mind Jolt. He's got the answer every time. Actually, like this line here. Just slow him down here, and I'm waiting for him to play something that I can like ping and kill or whatever. Jesus, this guy has every answer all of the time. Eight four damage though. Ooh, that looks tasty. Doesn't kill this though. Does almost clear his board. Don't eight sit down here. That was our only play. It does save this from dying to the 3-1. Gives me three face damage. He has to trade here. Not great. But like... I'm not sure if we're supposed to save this. He ha He's not shown any signs of having any big threats. I mean, he might have some in his deck and he did just get to 4C a bunch. Um... Basically, this is just like a heal your god for three, because he's just gonna hit me in the face for three. I'm running out of time. Aw, oh, I'm gonna save it in case he he did get the four C three, so he gets to look through a bunch of cards. All right, that's inflator. All right. Hmm. That's annoying. Card might actually get me killed now. We can do four to it, but we can't do five. Then the inflator can pump this. Oh. Does this still summon a second copy? We're about to find out. out Sweet. All right, let's. I think this to zero doesn't do too much. Eh. Maybe saves this life, actually, which is important. We need this to live so we can trade. Portal, so he just got to delve potentially an eight drop magic creature or another Cersei. This card's terrifying. 
behind a front line or two. Oh my god, inescapable duty. What is he pulling back? He's pulling back two things he empowered out. Archimedes Mirror, okay. This deck has reach. I wouldn't have brought back the mirror and a blitzer. So the blitzer does allow him to trade though. Okay, we have problems. Don't have a way to kill this right now. No way to kill this. Shoot. We can do three. Or four. Or three. We can't do all of them. Boy. If we kill this, we get a deadly back, which is important. Did he bring back? I already forget. Archimedes Mirror. Okay. Um. We're going to eat five next turn. changed anything if I'd drawn first, but you're supposed to draw first. Mirror is fine. Presuming he doesn't have a way to ping his own mirror. Wow, that's large. But that gives me another random creature, right? Wait, what does Chain Flip do? Shouldn't that give me a creature? Oh, there you go. Wow, give me a 1-1. One, one. Uh, deal 1 to the weakest enemy creature. So that's ironically going to hit the mirror. Which is then probably going to ping my creature, isn't it? Which is really annoying. Plus three, minus three. Mm. Okay. Sure. We're just dead. I can't figure it out. Weakest goes by strength. I don't want to play that because I don't want to ping this. GG. Yeah. I forgot that thing could swing too. That card's crazy. Uh-oh. Not looking good. Oh boy. Got the mirror. Uh the the rematch. Not great. Um going second again. Cool, cool, cool. Get rid of this. God, he's got insane late game I, and we're going second so it's like we can rush plus he's got a ramp mm, doesn't look good that's not what I want oh my only hope is to try and run him down but I that's not gonna happen with this Really wanted a Dart Maniac or the, uh, the Amazon 2 1. Alright. Let's get started on the running him down. Okay, good slow start for him. Bedeviled Shadow next turn. Warrior of Paradise next turn is Dece. Give this plus two strength, I hope. 
Does it give itself plus two strength? Random other. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I can't do that. Okay. Running him down plan. <laughs> Off to a good start. Has taken a turn for the worse. Um... Next turn, Overgrown Rhino is really big, though. This is a 5-5 body for four. Ancient texts. Oh, boy. Abort mission. Running him down has failed. And he's doing more? Oh, my dear freaking god. What a turn for him. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. This gives burn to stuff, too? Jesus. This dude's deck is cracked. This removal. Beautiful. I don't want to use my last pips. I think I'm just going to play the Rhino, even though I'm not stoked about it. Because even if he doesn't kill the Rhino, like, it's not guaranteed it's going to go face. But I want to play the Stoic Shield Word as a backliner. That's a little bit weird play from him. If this misses face, I need it to hit the 2 3. I th well, yeah. Actually, uh, maybe I'd prefer it does hit one of the 1 1s, to be honest. Tempted by raving into GP, though. I think Stoic is probably just the strongest. So let's try and... That's not gonna happen. All right, Lydia, reel it in. Time to focus. I can't do that. Three, two... Two, one. Rip. Um, all right, let's just go face. Just kidding, let's not go face and let it have it die immediately. Also a good plan. Um, all right, let's go raving then. In that case, I see what we get, and then I'm gonna pip out the, uh, Make him wait the relic. For the all right, don't love that, I know but what I must do. hopefully we protected this enough. I was gonna say we already know he's playing mind jolt, but we just got his mind jolt, so. I mean, he still has a copy, but I was proud of myself for remembering he runs Mind Jolt and then realized it's because I just solved his Mind Jolt. Shut up. My brain doesn't work. Okay. Uh, how did he kill it? I already forget. Curse of Greed. Another Curse of Greed? Bro has two Curse of Greeds? Greedy indeedy. Let's go ahead and do this play, which I like. A lot. That is not possible. Never we do leave this line open, but I don't... Even if he trades here, like, he theoretically can't get to this, right? Cudgel's fine. He's a cudgel, too? Like, jeez. He's gonna heal for four now, so basically he's at 22. Can't go face? No. This can go face. Uh, Heirloom's gonna take this out and heal him for another one. So he's basically at 23 when this dies. Okay. Um, hit him in the face for six this turn. For 10 even. But I don't think that's a good play. Okay. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. 
don't like that we can't swing immediately, but I like that this gives double frontline effectively to this. This card is crazy, man. Luckily, we have his own answer for it. I don't think it's a good card, even in this mode, because it can't attack. But, like, sometimes it can 100% lock your opponent out of games. Like, I have many creatures here. If I had to play a creature first, I'd be in big trouble. Even still, this takes my entire turn to deal with. Other option is Staff into Lay Horde. Let's get a second creature out. We do this. Can't do much. Eh. We can still trade this out to try and protect the 4-4. I just don't want the 4-4 to die. I really want to go face with this, so yeah, let's let's do this option. This is a Mystic. I'm tempted to play this. This is a Mystic, though, too. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely not play that, then, because also the Lay Horde. We're threatening lethal here. This is 4 plus 4. And he heals for even more. This is going to heal for some. Oh, my dear God. Why? So much heal. Leave me alone. Oi. Damn, it's so close, but we can't. Oh, and if we GP, then we can't lay horde. It doesn't, it only refreshes the start of your turn. Urgh. Which means we just have to trade everything. That's not literally everything, I suppose. We do get a 3-3 on board. We do get to hit him in the face for two, which isn't much. But now we don't have a Mystic. Meh. Stay true, followers of the light. Mm, he's got so many answers at this point. Damn. This dude had so much heal. So much removal. Jesus, so much heal. All right, Vesper. Wow, you could have come in handy earlier. I think we need to foresee more than a protected creature. I mean, like opalized roots and just go for the RNG win. Sure. Keep smacking him in the face, though. Like we have vine bound, but we saw last game. He just ate my vine bound alive, and we do have to wait two turns for that. Oh my dear freaking god, what? He has two of these? Bro. Get out of here. Alright, so opalized roots. Let's see what we get. Dang. Um, alright. He just puts burn three. So this is good. This sets up a great vine bound turn next turn. Tempted to play the Vesper just to give him something to do besides hit me in the face. Technically doesn't die to the vine bound because it has protected. Yeah. I don't think it's particularly good, but he hits that instead of hitting my face for any amount of damage or uses some removal or something. Sure. The next turn, Vine Bound. Oh my dear god, inescapable duty. This card, this this guy's deck. You can get yourself another uh Omna there. Yeah. Wow. That seems fun. Um, okay, gonna get to heal even more next turn. 
All right, he did play his relic into my relic removal. Unfortunately, this does remove my protected, so it will only remove one. And I'm going to swing face because we're going to keep being aggro here. His giant ass helm, though, is going to be. What? Plus two? Plus two? It's going to be a 410. But then it gains. Uh, six? No. How does this work? 910? Is that what it's going to be? A 910? I don't like that for him at all. I like that for me a lot. That's actually... If we could have removed this, then we just literally have lethal. I probably have lethal, but my brain hurts too much to figure this out quickly. Okay. That does four. Then use uses all my mana. This gives plus one and minus one, which does 11 over six. Uh, and then we just get it right back. Does four and then we just get it right back. That's a better option, right? not account for the overkill? Did Dagon have something somehow? Chain Flip is so crazy of a card. This dude's deck is stacked, but that's a bad card. Like, that probably just loses him the game. Oh my god, though. He gets to clear my board. If we get something back with three strength... Does it bring back the weakest? What does it do? It's, I thought it was random. A random creature. So we literally... Okay, but we can actually pump it Wait, can we pump it one more time? Yes, we can. Let's freaking go. We beat the unbeatable deck. Oh my God. That was absurd. Genuinely thought our run was over at this point. Wow. <sighs> GG's. I'm going to take a little break. You won't notice a break, but I'm not playing that guy again. No thank you. All right, we're five and two. I'm back. I took a nice little break. A couple hour break. I'm feeling much better. The first time... This entire week, two days ago, I was so dizzy I didn't get out of bed all day. I couldn't get out of bed all day. I'm feeling 10,000 times better. We're going first. We have a Dart Maniac. They have a Shards. Yeah, this looks pretty decent. I don't love the Barkskin Warrior here. We don't have Cheat to make it proc, and he doesn't have a ping to, like proc himself in the face, but we're going first. Seems like it'll probably help clean up with Dart Maniac. My turn already. Best of luck. Mm. No, I don't advocate for playing a pip on turn one, but here our curve is too juicy, so I'm either going to play the Dart Maniac or the Staff of Shards. Um... Get the staff online. <clears throat> and then because this can ping, it's effectively I can do two damage next turn. So as long as he didn't play a 2 3, we're quite happy. Okay. If he does nothing, we're even happier. Hmm. 
Wow, he just doesn't want to play the game, I guess. He's passed two turns in a row. Has allowed me to establish an ungodly control of the board. Possible he just has lots of board wipes or something. He's been very conservative with the pips. Didn't pip out god power last turn, which is surprising. At this point, unless he has removal spells, he is literally dead. There's no way you can land on this board and survive. Now, if he could see my hand, he'd be pretty happy because I have a 6, 7, 8. However, our god power is decent. And there is indeed a 2-2. Two, two. Is he going to summon a structure here? That would be pretty nuts. Okay. Would have given him some mad props for that. Would have actually been a real problem to put armor on this board. Um. Okay. While I do feel better, I'm going to leave the lights out just because uh, I don't feel 100% better. But also, uh, for continuity's sake, even though I do feel like this looks terrible... I hope uh, it doesn't bother people too much. I know it doesn't look good, trust me. <laughs> um, but I was tired of not making content. Trade here, and then this becomes a 2 3, or we could just ping. I think we just ping. Let's see what we get here first. Seeing Stun. Ah, sure. We'll draw a Bedeviled Shadow. That's good for next turn. We can God Power plus Shadow next turn. Let's just ping this. Go face face. Yen him with the Dart Mania. I mean, this is just obscene. Two damage to like every creature every turn without touching things. He just lost it in the depths and deleted half of his deck. I am terrified and excited to see what happens next. Okay. Should be able to clean that board up decently. Um, at worst, mm, let's see what we get here. That is the least helpful card we could have drawn. Are these considered zeros or no? They're one and twos. How many one drops do I have? Do I even want my one drops? Is maybe even a good question. Don't ask me. I haven't played in like hours, so I don't remember what my one drops are. Not even going to lie. No cap. <laughs> I know we have the one that's really bad. Well, we just lost a lot of one drops. Is that true? Couldn't have had that many one drops. <laughs> I thought we had like three maybe. All right. I have no idea what's happening. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's take that out. Go face. I'm running out of time. If he trades this into the two two, at least it dies now. Oh yeah, would have died anyway. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what one drops I just deleted from my deck because I deleted a lot of them. Like seven. There's no way I had seven one drops. We should probably just not swing, maybe? I don't know. But now we should definitely not swing, because this now has lots of regen. I think you just... At the same time, I have a lot of... I don't know. Wow, okay. Pretty good for him. Two, five. Don't touch my Dart Maniac. Thank you. All right. That's certainly crazy. I'm still very concerned and confused as to how many cards I just deleted. Um, We can do four to this guy. And then the Maniac picks him off. But I really don't like that my Maniac then dies. But I think this is okay. Yeah, Maniac, you've done a great job. But... 
your time has come to an end here. It's just regen, so I didn't bother pinging it or anything. You could have like pinged the trade if we would have. Oh my god. Okay. That's terrifying. No, we've got a good answer though. Bro. Okay. As long as he doesn't have yet another one of those, we're fine. We're trying to figure out. I need to look at my deck after this because it's been a couple hours, like I said, and um, not gonna lie, pretty terrified as to how many cards I just deleted. So I think we're definitely gonna get rid of this guy. He gives regen after he dies, too, as an afterlife. And I don't want other things getting regen, because clearly he's actually got pretty good synergies in this deck. How do you intend to face me Which synergy is not really a thing that exists, but um, he somehow pulled it off pretty decent. Everything he's done so far has been very cohesive, except for passing the first couple turns again. Another strong play. Mine's shinier than yours. Mm, that wasn't very good unless he can pick this off. Archer? I got two cards in hand. Hate to waste the warrior, but let's see what we get here. Yeah. Hopefully it'll buff the 3-3. Three, three. Perfect. The one with one health. <laughs> the one with deadly. The one that we want to trade into something. And here I'm actually going to ping him in the face because we're getting pretty close to lethal. And we picked up our second relic. Frontline, okay. We are at seven though, so we can now take that out. Okay. Would be cool if this was a 5 3, huh? He still could have done five damage to his face or had my deadly alive. Hmm. Bird tree, also an option. I'm gonna get this big threat online while also opening up his face. I don't think there's any reason to save this here. Yes, this doesn't have God Blitz, but it does have regular style Blitz. I think if we need it, we'll be fine, but now we're just threatening lethal. I guess maybe you can use an ability and then also swing a different Relic's Blitz in the same turn. Not actually 100% sure on that. I guess I was thinking I wouldn't be able to use the ability and then also swing, but that might not be true. That's just GG's. <clears throat> I wonder what the heck we deleted from our deck. Let's take a look. Genuinely thought we had about five one drops, maybe four. We do have five one drops. What? <laughs> I swear it dropped by like seven or eight or nine even. I don't know. Maybe I was just seeing things. I don't know. Here we go. Six and two again, just like last run. Uh, this is indeed the very next run. I haven't done a run all week. I did actually open a pool yesterday and then immediately just closed it when I realized I felt so horrible. I was trying to record a YouTube video. I literally recorded for two minutes and then I was like, I, I feel so nauseous. I built the deck and then killed the pool so I wouldn't keep going. Here we go. Game number nine. <clears throat> Can we get, I think, three sevens in a row if we get this? Not counting the abandoned pool. Which wasn't a good pool, but it wasn't a bad pool. Um, 
Don't need that. We're going first again. I feel like we went first probably the majority of the games. Ugh. This is such a bad go first. It's like the perfect go second hand. Uh, I don't want both relics, but I, I want to get rid of pack succession too, so I'm kind of stuck here. Uh... Please don't give me my third relic. Okay, this is this is. Well, we got six wins, huh? So I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, he passes. That's good news. Gives me a chance to get a relic equipped. But we still have just absolutely nothing to do next turn. This guy is scary. After this creature survives damage. So we can't even just ping it or anything. Oh my god. That's not good. Hmm. Almost feel like we have to hit this thing twice. Eat seven, no, eight damage total. Oh my god, plus just waste this relic. I don't know how else you kill this. It just eats my Dart Maniac. This just buffs it to a 3 3. This just buffs it to a 3 3. What am I supposed to do here? Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know. Uh. I have no idea. This is absolutely atrocious. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Staff of Roots here. I'm really happy that he just got powered and didn't develop his board more because we would just be dead right now if he did. I'm praying for like Fur, Trees, Fury. This at least does something. Make him wait for Hate to waste the pip here. Feel like it's unavoidable. Is this, it's just, yeah, God, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he can kill this, I don't think he can. If he was nature, I'd be more concerned. Canopy barrage, but... Okay. Still, oh my dear God. Okay. So the plan is to completely abandon this thing. Actually, this is the perfect turn, minus the fact that we're just completely wasting a relic. Again, I wish I knew if I could have hit that there, but since I don't know, we had no choice. And now my rock star comes in and saves my life. <sighs> wow. Oh my god, that was loud. Thank you for saving my life. You have done a great service to us all. Goodbye, Dart Maniac. That's the one I would have killed too, even though this maybe would have been better. This is tempting. I wish we didn't have to have wasted our pip. I, I don't think we have a choice. Rios is insane. After this creature attacks and destroys. Like, if he has any Olympian, it's already gotten a plus one, plus three buff, which is insane in this mode. I, I have to take it out. Ugh, I eat four more damage. Ugh, so brutal. That's not gonna happen. This has been the roughest of starts. I love this card a lot. I think this card might be I hope you brought back a undervalued in constructed mode. I mean, there's no mystic synergy, but once there is, like, this card is pretty incredible, to be honest. It's a 4-4 four, four with backline for 4, and then effectively, like, you get a 1-1 one, one blocker for it. It's, like, pseudo-hidden. But for magic, yeah, I mean, magic doesn't have, like, a aggro slash mid-range, really, that wants this, I don't think, but 
one day when it does. This card's pretty cool. I love this card now. I never played it before this run, I don't think, and it's just really cool. The fact that this is the board state right now blows my mind. I thought we were just literally dead. I love that we have the hunt in case he goes something big here. I swear to God, last time we played Stoic Shield Lord, uh, they did the exact same thing. Interesting. Hmm. You could ping the same thing twice. I'd play Lay Wreath and Heartbeat, but you cannot. I'm tempted to play Swelling Boon since this doesn't kill it, but it, it feels too naked. But I can't play the Hunt. I mean, the Hunt on a 2 is just terrible. I, th I think we play this. Let's force C. We're almost out of time here. These are both fine. Let's play this. I'm gonna ping that so we can't trade more than once. I considered hiding my own creature for sure. If he has something in hand that can kill this, then he can go face and trade here. And then this has one health, which is obviously not great. He has a massive hand, though. I don't know. Healing is annoying. He still gets to trade it. I hope he just goes face. He does trade into this and can't do anything else. He can. He just murdered my dude. Not cool. Hmm. Okay. Um, some five fives or six will do it. Oh, my goodness! Dreaming Scepter is interesting, that's terrifying. Um, was like if he didn't do that, we would have had a swelling boon turn. Now instead, they could heal something. I have to ping this and trade. If I if I want to heal this, I can't. Um, or I don't see a way around this. Because you can't just cheat it because then it gets hidden. But I think I have to play Lay Wraith, but then he just eats this, which is terrible. Alright. So terrible. At least we get five more damage to his face in. There might have been a better line here. At one point, this did everything one at a time, but I don't think that's the case. Tempt Fate is fine as long as he doesn't get Ward. Okay. Hmm. Just four, which is close, but I think we just hunt, go face. So he gets to kill this with his relic, but if it gets if it unequips his relic, I'm happy. That's interesting. That's the frontliner, that's really annoying. Okay. I think this is just better. 
It's not the relic anymore. Like the goal now is if we can just stick something big, we just win because we can just hide it. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so we have the Shadow plus Swelling Boon. And another Savage... Salvaged Sentinel. But I don't hate just going straight for the throat with the hidden creature twice. In fact, I love it. Five six is good split. Wouldn't mind more to the strength side this time around, of course, but okay. Double dealer is okay because we're really kind of just banking on murdering him with this. I really would have loved to keep that salvage sentinel to try and get rid of some damage that he's going to do to me, but. Wow, this is even better. To be honest. Fortunately, it doesn't kill the 4 1, which is really problematic, but it does kill three other creatures. Okay. Good draw. that we didn't get that 4-1, but that's okay. We're just in a face race. I'm doing 8, he's doing 4, he's on a 2 turn clock, we're on a 3 turn clock. Would love to have had something else that can just kill something. Front line is a problem. Uh oh, we need something here. Otherwise we're dead. Wow. Um, so... <laughs> We can't hide this, but maybe he can't kill it. We hit him for six here. This dies as well, which is beautiful. This takes one damage. We go face for eight. I don't see anything else. I mean, this is a huge top deck. Yeah. Technically this survives if I swing here. Wait, 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 wait. Well, he has seven health. We can't hide it. If we could have hidden this end swung, I think it's better, but... All right, now if he has, like, single target removal, we're dead, but... He says GG's. I don't know. You got me? Oh. GG's. Nothing you could do about a charm. Brutal. After that start, though, the fact that we were even in it is pretty insane. Six and three. Not bad for Migraine Edition speed run of sealed mode. wonder if there's anything we could have done differently there. I don't think you can play around charm in any way, shape, or form. Again, if we could have hidden our dude, that would have helped. But it had 7 health, he had 6 attack. We swing. It dies to the asterisk implosion to the face as well. It needed like 2 more health, and then we would have won. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.